Hi, I wanted to share with you what I perceived is coming up in the system, especially the last week or two, or a little bit longer. I noticed about two and a half weeks ago, something opened, like a veil opened, and it's almost like the emergency came out of the system. So some timelines I could feel dissolved. So there was a major breakthrough of freedom on a collective level. It may not look like that on the outside, but I could feel on a core level of the human, something opened, something shifted. So a timeline which was coming to us, which didn't feel too good, has shifted. So that's out of the system. Systems are collapsing and um, control systems are coming up very strong and mandates are coming up very strong because the systems are up in the system. So they're about to, a lot of them broke through already, but they're collapsing and more and more is coming up in the system. What I perceive, um, I went very deep into myself and into my own system uh, because I know that everything's inside me and everything that's happening outside is inside me too. So I wanted to see what was the root of what's happening in the world. So I went very deep into my system. So that's why I sort of disappeared for a while. I went into my cave to see what's going on. And what I found was actually surprising, but yet not surprising. Um, I found that I was going through reliving, my system was reliving the birth experience going into the birth canal. And I can feel it in my system when I'm talking. <laughs> it's coming up in the field. So what I see in the outside world yeah, as a human on the collective field and personal is that we're going through, re, we're reliving and giving the opportunity to rewrite our birthing experience. So as mom mom's water breaks and the system closes and becomes toxic and then the contractions start this is the first now this is all subconscious what i'm talking about and this will play out in many different aspects in your life conscious or not conscious but for me the root is back in the birth canal so if you imagine that the control contractions have started. So this is the first experience because now the Kundalini energy is open. So this is the sexual energy too. So this, these contractions, as you enter into the birth canal, you're being squeezed into it. So this in a way is your first experience as one human, your mother, and you as another human going into perpetrator and victim so one is causing pain on the other and then the other is causing pain on the mother so the child's causing pain on the mother the mother is causing pain on the child so this can develop in i was going to say abnormal you know strange relationships with the female with the mother immediately because you feel that the mother is the perpetrator so this will come up stronger in the male because inside the feminine is this, it's just in your system, this birthing or conception field, but it also is in the feminine, I noticed as well. So we're all going through this mother, which is mother earth and mistrust or feeling abused or I don't want to be here. I don't want to be on this body. I don't want to be on this planet. What am I doing here? Um, or I've been misused. So this, this is the first of development in the system of your relationship of um of victim and perpetrator archetypes so it's the split it's almost the first split that you've realized of separation from a system because in in the when you're in the womb if it's a beautiful experience in there it depends if you're a plant child if you're a plant child, it could feel very sacred and, oh, I feel loved, I feel welcome. If you're not a plant child and you're a shock to the system or your parents were not conscious when you were being born, then you may have a different experience. So these fields are living, being lived out at the moment.
So back to entering the birth canal. So as you're entering the birth canal head or feet, it depends, or maybe it was a C-section, that's a different experience again, um, which you can see actually very much in America, it's happening where a lot of college students, for example, are just simply not questioning the system and doing what they're being told. So there's no fight with some people, there's no fight in the system because they didn't have this birthing experience. They went from a C-section. So they were just delivered. They were not just, but they were delivered. So they didn't have this birthing experience, life and death experience. So you're, you will just be, you'll go along with the system. It's just, there's no information of a struggle. There's no information of a fight. There's no information of a breakthrough. There's no information of a consciousness breakthrough in the system with the C-section. There's many different aspects. I can go into that at a later date, maybe. But I want to focus on the birth canal. So as you're entering the birth canal, there's this push and pull, push and pull, and these contractions, I'm being squeezed. So you're getting squeezed. So life is squeezing you. At the moment, the field is squeezing people, feeling trapped with new mandates, feeling trapped in the country, feeling trapped in society, feeling alone, feeling squeezed by government's decisions, being squeezed by fears, control, manipulation. So this is entering the system. So it's activation of almost a subtle or abusive energies which were forced on our system. But this imprints are in our system. They're in the brain, they're in body intelligence, the body wisdom, they're in the cells. So this is the entry of the birth canal. It can also represent, because the sexual energy is up, so it could represent where some people also developed in sexuality rough sex or sadomasochist sex. So being gagged, being suffocated, connected with this, the pleasure. So also about s and m so and also people of power people of power in general would be attracted to s and m because that's where they first experience this fight being the victim suppressed and then this breakthrough so there's a bondage going on between the pleasure the pain and this breakthrough, my decision of power. I decide to come out of the womb. I decide to be born. I decide to be present. So in the birth canal, that can be the experience of being trapped, paralyzed. What am I doing here? Why did I decide to be here? And there can be a decision of I'm stuck, um, of I, I go, I don't go. And there can be also the decision of, yes, I'm going to go for it. So if you imagine you're going through the birth canal and there's all this pressure against you, there needs to be a very clear decision in your system to do that. So you could be very like a leader, really a leader. I'm going to break through a war. I'm going to break through a system. I'm going to go for it. No matter what, I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to create a war for it. So you could be over the top about fighting because you have this really strong decision. I'm going to go for it into life and this, this fight for breaking through new systems. So if you have that from the birth canal, you could be a very strong leader, revolutionary, a rebel. So you're breaking through systems. I'm going to smash a system. I can do it. I've done it in the birth canal. And I can do it again. It's like hell on earth is against me, but I'm going to do it. So it can activate leaders, but it could be leaders that are slightly over the top, out of balance. Also, what it can, as you're going through, if you make a, so in the birth canal, as I say, it can, it's your first, as a spirit, decision to go for it. So maybe some of the, our system didn't really go for it. Maybe part of us went consciously, but the other part didn't. And also this has been lived out in the field at the moment. So there's a lot of people waking up consciously here. And then they miss the lower chakras. So the lower chakras are where it's been squeezed. The hips are being squeezed, squeezed into life. And there's a separation in the system. There's a, there's a block in the system, separation the system. So this for me is representing where we didn't, really make a conscious decision to come into life we didn't go into the lower chakras we didn't go into a root the root 
of, of our systems. So what I get very strongly is that we need to look deeper down into our roots. And this is coming up in the collective fields. So it's about not only being conscious, you can see people who are awaking, they realize what's going on. They realize that this is not okay. They realize that if I go down that alleyway, this can happen. So I choose another one. And yet it's not manifestation. There's no manifestation in the system. The reason there's no manifestation in the system and the reason you're not living your potential is because you didn't look down into your roots. You didn't look down into your system where it's messy, where it's dirty, where it's heavy. The more you root into the dirt, the earth, the more you're going to manifest. As the seed is planted in the, the, the earth, in the dirt, then the seed can grow. So for planting new systems, for manifesting new systems, we need to look down into our system. We need to look down beyond the shadow aspect, beyond the, the fears, the illusions, and go deeper into our system. But this is the subconscious fields. So if you imagine <clears throat> you've experienced maybe abuse in your life, your childhood, or different experiences, there's memory fields, which are subconsciousness around you. But then when you go into the deeper layers, which I feel is up at the moment, these are the deeper layers, which are deep, deep, deep hidden in our subconsciousness, where we had no mind in a way to realize what it is. So we will live them out in our own distorted way or ego-based way of separation. It's like, that's bad. That's a bad system. And then I go from one system to another, but I'm recreating this victim perpetrator archetype so you can see that a lot as well that in the field at the moment there's a lot of people i'm in this group or i'm going to join that group or you are against that and this so this is also the part where i'm separating from mother system and me as a child so i'm creating separation it's the first experience of separation in the womb and that's what's playing out in the moment in the moment that people are going to groups you're bad I go to this group, that's better. But actually, you're strengthening the separation polarities in the system. At the moment, it's not separation. It's about realizing that I am one and I am all. And they're all, this separation is, help, excuse me, is helping me to go deeper into my core and discover who I am as a creator. So going back into stillness, going back into oneness, going back into unity consciousness, going back into you, your blueprint, and rewriting your birthing experience and those aspects of you which couldn't come in at birth can drop into your system. Once you bring for healing of a system, once you bring, so at the moment, the field has squeezed us all in many different ways, it's opened our wounds up. Now, usually it, for healing, if I'm still projecting that it's on the outside, the energy won't resolve. So for resolving a system, I need to find the, the root, the root of where it is in my system right now, because it's here right now. I'm not talking about going back into the past to open it. I'm just talking about if it's open in the system now, it's here and it's ready to be resolved. So... By me being aware, aha, this squeezing, this separation, this destructive field, maybe that felt destructive, felt that I'm being squeezed, felt like I'm in a prison, is coming from my womb experience, coming from the birth canal. Then the body starts releasing and starts healing these subconscious fields. And they're almost like clouds coming out of the system. And don't forget as well, like, you would have been emerged in your mother's waste as well at the, the toxicity as well. So the world is toxic, it's polluted, it's not good for me, I need to get out of here, will be very active, I need to escape, I need to be born. So also fear of debt. So it brings in suffocation, blocking the oxygen. So it's bringing in this suffocation feeling maybe in some people as well, and that it's not healthy to be here and I'm being poisoned or I'm being tox or toxicity, which also is playing out in the system, in the collective field. Because, for example, if you look at 
what's being offered to people at the moment, there's toxicity in the system. So it's creating those splits in the system which surrendered to toxicity or gave in to toxicity in the system or this fear of debt, life and debt. So the birthing canal is really represented it's like the dark nights of the soul and it's the part where it's life and death. It's almost like I'm dying, I, I'm dying to be born. And this experience of going through the birth canal is really reliving a death to life experience. You're in this beautiful womb, it was cozy, it was nice, and then suddenly it's toxic. Suddenly you're being pushed, suddenly you're being forced. Maybe there's, there's forceps pulling you out. So I know the other morning, I got a really strong migraine here because of the, that's what happened in my birth. And actually, it was a very long birth. So I could feel all week I was being pulled and you know, pushed and things were working in my system. So this is what I'm going to be doing in the webinar, actually. I feel it's very important to take to go in consciously and release this from the system, this squeezed, this separation part and this the trauma that was experienced in the birthing canal and or maybe from a c-section or whatever you went through during your birthing experience and you can reset it and then those aspects of you which could not incarnate can incarnate again and what it's doing is it's using the archetypes which is active at the moment of mandates of i'm a prisoner there's separation i'm better than you i'm a victim i'm a per perpetrator and um, all the separation archetypes by healing them on the inside, it will just dissolve them on the outside. Also, what's coming up very strong in the ancestral line and also in ourselves, I feel, is that when you go into your spirit, you realize that you are connected to source, you are connected to everything, which is a creation. You are everything, everything is you. And then there's the choice of going into your core, which is pure fertility, pure creation. And then on the outer layers is all the other memory fields of how it was when I was being created or born here. And that's the birthing experience. So by you dissolving this and working on this trauma that's in the system, you automatically will resolve what's in the system. So the fight, the, the passionate fight, the war, the frozen energies, the abusive energies, the double standards going on here, the higher hierarchy going on, the different splits in man, the human at the moment, is being relived because it's time to heal it and rebirth ourselves. So if we work through this, then what we create is pure, is creation. And you can manifest on your full potential then. If you imagine that you're manifesting now with these subconscious layers around your aura in the brain and the subconsciousness, and these subconscious layers, you are sending out to the universe what I want to create. So you're sending it out through these programs, and then they also manifest in your system. So for me, it's very, it's a crucial time at the moment for realization of what's active in our system with that consciousness, it's gonna work anyway. And then transforming them out of your field and then manifesting. So what I get very, very strong, that's why in this webinar series, what came up very strong when, I, when the field of deadness, we went into deadness, this is another level of it. It's going in deeper and deeper and deeper. And also with going in with the equinox, that's also going deeper and deeper into the birthing experience. So it's, it's really a beautiful time for going deep inside and then realizing and bringing to a conscious level what is in my subconscious layers. It's amazing how much these con subconscious layers are playing out in the field, in the world at the moment. And this is a beautiful golden opportunity to transform all these separation fields, all these fights, breakthroughs, restrictions, the borders, the control, the fear, the fear of death, fear of disease, the violence, 
which happens in the system, the perpetrator, the victim. It's all the Burton Canal. It's easy. It's very easy, actually. And it's easy to clear it by bringing consciousness in. And we have the support from creation to transform these fields at the moment. So I'm very excited to relive our birthing experience. First, to go into it, the birth canal, consciously allow it to come up on the cells, allow it to come up on the subconscious layers and release it, transform it, and then bring, accept our system, accept who we are as a creator, accept our full potential and look into our roots, look deep into our roots, deep, deep, deep into our roots. We can do all the conscious work we like on higher fields and you will not manifest them in your life unless you go deep into your roots. If you do not see financial success, if you do not see relationship with yourself, relationship with a partner, there's something in the roots which is not resolved. And for me, it's very important to go deep into the roots if you want to start manifesting and really manifesting new systems. So this is what I've been guided to. And yet Spirit's been guiding me into it. It was a little bit rough during the week. Um, and because it was rough in the birthing canal and that was coming up. So I had to go deep inside and it was rough. And then there was the decision to come true. And then you're coming into a new reality and your consciousness, and then you can decide to be fully in the cells. So this is what I'll be doing in this webinar and in the next webinar too. We'll be going much deeper. And so, yeah, it's a beautiful time to awaken. It's already awake. It's not even to awaken, just to work with what's active in your system. The world has squeezed us. The world has triggered us and created separation. And it's a beautiful time to transform it because you are the creator of the world at the moment. And everything you transform in your system dissolves the system. And that's why I feel we had a massive breakthrough two and a half weeks ago. That's why I feel emergency is out of the system. So let's go forward. Let's go forward as a group, first individually as a group, and let's spread these frequencies and dissolve these separation archetypes which are in the system, dissolve this war energy which is in the system, dissolve this slavery which is in the system, and sedation, which can be all from our birthing experience. Have a beautiful day remembering who you are and how much potential is in your system. And you are a clear channel already. And you're, it's not your higher self. Your being is in you already. The rest is an illusion. So let's clear the fog. Let's clear the clouds which are in the way which are deep in the subconscious layers. And let's get deep into our roots and let's start manifesting as a creator in unity consciousness. And then you can really activate the quantum field and manifest in the quantum field in the purest form in your full potential. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.